the sounds of spring. And softly blow the sweet breezes of May. A great American ritual begins. Spring has come to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. searching for excitement. We travel west to the Tournament of Roses, south for the Mardi Gras at New Orleans, then north for the big boats racing on the lakes. And in the heart of America, we pack the town of Indianapolis for a solid month to watch the race cars run. We love cars bright and smooth, and the freedom to go where we like. And that love brings us here, the best place to be in the springtime. dream of what it must be like, running wheel to wheel against the best drivers in the world. These are strange, legendary beasts, half man, half metal. They run a foot from the wall at fantastic speed and laugh at danger. We cannot understand this much bravery, and we never will. Even their costumes deceive us. They are both glorious and gaudy. They are jet pilots with a surgeon's skill. These are men able to gamble life against glory and have fun doing it. We see them at their best, qualification. Only the fastest 33 cars start the race. Twice that number are here to try. In four minutes of speed, four laps around this two and a half mile oval, the result of a year's planning and dreaming is known. In, out, nothing in between. Some face extra pressure, their own desire to drive their names into the record books. Jim Rathman is going against his brother's record. Two years ago, Dick Rathman set the track ablaze with speed of 146 miles an hour. Jim warms up at near record speed and turns it loose coming into the front stretch. Jim Rathman's first lap is less than a mile an hour faster than his brother's, but that's enough. The record is broken. This is what the crowd has come to see. Rathman qualifies. 146 and one half miles an hour. Perhaps the only person on the racetrack that isn't impressed with his own new record is Jim Rathman. I run better, he said, when I'm chasing somebody, or somebody's chasing me. Eddie Sachs on his way. His wife follows him as he disappears into the first turn. 
He inches up on that magic speed, 147 miles an hour. Rathman's record, barely an hour old, is smashed by Eddie Sachs. His total elapsed time, four minutes, five and 58 hundredths of a second, is barely half a second faster than Rathman. But that half second is enough to make Eddie Sachs weep with joy. Seven years ago, Sachs washed dishes at the Speedway cafeteria. In his own words, I was the biggest failure the Speedway ever saw. Indianapolis is full of Cinderella stories. Spring is very sweet for Eddie Sachs. Now with the glory of a new record. But then a rookie comes along. Jim Herdebees. His name means nothing. They claim he's a natural born race driver. But Indianapolis is not impressed by claims. Then he stands on the throttle and things begin to happen. Herdebees turns corners faster than some men go on the straightaway. While pandemonium sweeps the speedway, he averages 149 miles an hour for four laps. And the crowd knows it has seen a once-in-a-lifetime performance. This is the tremendous climax to the qualification story. First, a brother's record broken. Then, Eddie Sachs turns failure to success. And now, a rookie, fastest of them all brings the 150 mile an hour dream within reach. Is it any wonder the only place to be in the springtime is Indianapolis? The ritual continues in its ordered traditional manner. The measured tempo of 44 500. at a certain hour, cars to the starting line at a certain moment, a ritual and a ceremony viewed by a crowd that is growing with every moment. The drivers at their cars await the starting signal. Eddie Sachs, the winner of the pole position inside front row, he must lead the car safely past the starting line. Next to Eddie, Jim Rathman, center position, first row, a man who wants to win. Next to Jim, Roger Ward. Ward radiates the confidence of a champion. He is the man the others must beat. Johnny Thompson is one driver that might do it. Jim Herdebees, anxious to find out whether a rookie can win the race. It hasn't been done in 33 years. The drivers fight to keep down the tension. A.J. Foyt, the youngest driver, 25 years old and Dwayne Carter, who has raced for 28 years, both share it. These are the agonizing moments. The stands are filled and the cars are ready. The largest crowd that Indianapolis has ever known packs the arena. And here's again the time-honored words. Gentlemen, start your engine spoken by Speedway President Tony Holman. The fastest 33 cars ever to race anywhere, anytime, roll away from the starting line. 